She is a truly stunning, head-turning superstar in the pro wrestling world. One of the biggest names ever made in All Elite is now set to maybe be the next big thing in WWE. The storm is coming, and its name is Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill's signing was a statement, one that WWE was looking to make after the TKO merger deal was completed. So who is Jade Cargill and what is all the hype about? To make it short for those that don't know, she became the longest reigning individual champion in All Elite Wrestling's young history. Despite only debuting in pro wrestling overall during the pandemic in 2020, she had an impressive 60-0 record before losing to Chris Statlander and was considered by some AEW's Goldberg. Though she had a brief tryout for WWE, she never made it to the TV level. But under Tony Khan and AEW, it was stated he wanted Cargill to be one of the stars he built the company around but things ultimately didn't work out that way. The former AEW TBS champion's debut during the pandemic era wasn't an ideal situation, considering that she was a fresh face rookie, but it's still understandable from Tony Khan's point of view as he saw big dollar signs with her, and recognized Jade's potential before most people in the wrestling world actually bought into it. Her run in All Elite Wrestling was memorable, but filled with some uh, creative mistakes in retrospect, and her exit left a lot of questions about the state of the company. She only lost on the way out. She only dropped that TBS title, then came back to just lose again and leave. Yeah, a lot of question marks there. Yeah, she ended up losing her dominating winning streak in an abrupt, out-of-nowhere fashion to Chris Statlander on a pay-per-view without any advertisement before taking a hiatus for nearly four months without any explanation. It was a tumultuous time for AEW in general, with the fallout of the CM Punk situation, him getting fired, but this video isn't about backstage issues in AEW. Let's get in the positive direction. It's about the mistakes that were made that can be avoided by WWE. In this very well-publicized process, which WWE has definitely done, they've made a lot of attention for Cargo without her even stepping in the ring just yet. She has carried herself as the ultimate professional and has done nothing to bury AEW, despite a lot of speculations that there were those backstage issues that went unresolved. It's not really about that. It's about the future. It's about her legacy now. For her, it's more about that legacy following in the footsteps of Cody Rhodes, who also exited AEW to return to WWE. Let's start with one of the first issues WWE needs to avoid with Jade Cargill. She got a lot of time in AEW on television at first, and then it kind of got inconsistent. WWE needs to keep it consistent without overexposing her. So far, they're doing a pretty good job with that, only featuring her in cameo roles, SmackDown, Raw, and NXT, while still getting fans to say, ooh and ah, and where is this going? They're getting fans to ask the right questions when they start to have them get answers with Jade on television, it has to mean something, but not be too much. Another harsh reality is that Cargill might find herself being around talents athletically that could do some things that she can't do. The WWE women's roster right now is very strong. Undoubtedly, she will benefit from that. Her in-ring skills might see her exposed a little bit if she's put in the ring with the likes of five-star classic makers in EO Sky, Asuka, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, and woo, Charlotte Flair. And this isn't a knock at Jay Cargill. Cargill is only three years into her wrestling career. She's only going to get better. She has access to the WWE Performance Center and some of the best coaches in the world. And also, she's worked with some of those best coaches in the world in AEW. She's just gonna get better. You're just getting her at three years into the business. What WWE will likely offer is a chance for her to have longer, less one-sided matches like she did in AEW, where she played the powerhouse role. But to do that, they're going to need to build her up a little bit more carefully treading the line and only thrusting her into the main event scene when they know she's ready. Another circumstantial problem she faced in AEW, despite being the dominant undefeated champion, I know that should be a great thing, 
She was kept completely away from other top female stars in the company, like Dr. Britt Baker, for instance. We doubt that WWE is going to invest as much as they have had in Jade Cargill without turning her into, eventually, a main event star. But stranger things have happened. But there's no real point in having her become women's champion without making people care about it at first. And to do that, she needs to be presented as a larger-than-life star without getting overexposed, which means she needs to join the likes of AJ Styles and Dominic Mysterio in skipping WWE NXT altogether. There was a lot of talk of her maybe becoming the female Goldberg in AEW. Yeah, we're bringing that up again. But the truth is that she never needed to be the next Goldberg to begin with. She just needs to be the first Jade Cargill. One thing that WWE hopefully realizes is that Cargill doesn't need the money. Sure, her star power coming from AEW and time in WWE will be huge in monetary value in the long run, but she's made it clear before that she already has enough money to live comfortably without needing to be a pro wrestler. For Jade Cargill, it's about legacy. Entering the WWE Hall of Fame, having her name be bigger than what it was before. The only way to do that, whether you like hearing this or not, is being a part of WWE. She's gotten a lot of valuable insight in her career, especially from the likes of greats like Brian Danielson. But she pointed out in an interview with ESPN's Mark Ramondi that Brian Danielson was in WWE for a very long time before jumping to AEW. She knows what WWE is ultimately going to prove for her. Signing with them was a statement of ambition, a statement that she wants to be the face of women's wrestling. Only time will tell whether that happens. But so far, things have been working out in her favor at this very early stage. It's going to take a combination of hard work, maybe some good luck, timing, and the powers that be across the entire spectrum of WWE for her run now to correctly work out the way she wants it to. We could be looking at the next big megastar in WWE. She has that in the airport, turn your head, who is that feeling about her? This isn't just anyone, this is Jade Cargill, and she's going to get a lot of people talking. Who do you want to see Jade Cargill face in WWE? Get into the comments below.